Hello again, everyone. We are Gaming by Gaslight, and welcome back to Prison Architect. When we last left off, the prison was in pretty good shape. We have some people uh, working here. Everyone seems to be more or less happy. The grounds are looking a little messy. We have someone chatting over here. What do we know about you? A tab to cycle the objects. Right. Clara Lover's Edge. What do we know about you? You are a gang member, but that's it. I guess that's a good thing. Let's take a quick look at our intelligence. What do we know about everyone? Let's see here. You're a CI. We've got some extremely quick people. We've got some extremely strong and stoical people. Uh, overall, it actually doesn't look like we have anyone who is uh, sneaky, as it were. Oh, it also looks like this finished, so that's always a good sign. Uh, what else do we have to do today? Oh, we've got a full congregation. That's pretty good, or nearly full anyway. Overall, I'm actually pretty happy with how things are going. Let's see, the gangs are not sufficient yet to actually take over anything, which is probably a good sign. Now, we do have some dangers, but I'm pretty sure it's mostly handled. This whole hallway is marked as being staff only, right? Well, this is, but this isn't. Now, let's make this corridor staff only. I'm pretty sure they'll still put people in here, right? Should, I hope. I think they would. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll have to watch and see if any trouble happens and if they actually keep using this. They should. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's just no one can come in here on their own. We'll also recruit you, because why not? Uh, what else do we want to do to make sure this particular prison is the best darn prison it can be? Hmm. Well, we are going to want to expand, so let's uh, let's kind of do that while we're thinking here. I mean, we're going to want to expand out here, as usual. And I believe last time I was talking about making this into some kind of max security wing. Which could be good. Hmm. So maybe I'll make uh, more single cell areas. And this will be all uh, locked off for only max security people. Hmm. Though with that in mind, I will still need to figure out a way to make sure that everyone can access. I suppose what I'll want to do is have some kind of like security checkpoint here. And, or like, in this corridor, and I suppose this corridor, also. Ooh. Polaroid. I think we've got that one before. Let's see here, materials, no objects. Let's see, doodly doo do. Hmm. I, I'm hearing a fight somewhere. Oh, dear God. Well, that was uh, certainly something, wasn't it? Uh, ah, here we are. Metal detectors. Oh, come on. Alright, I guess I have to demolish that first, then go into objects, and we can plant our metal detectors here once the workers eventually get around to it. Pretty sure that's not actually a tunnel. I, oh, wow, there you go. Alright, let's uh, take a look at our utilities to make sure we've got... Nope, power is not running there, so let us uh, do something about that. Like that. Excellent, excellent. You know, overall, this prison is actually doing pretty well for itself, I think. So, let us just plan this out here. I mean, we're going to want another... What is this? Another uh, 16 by 8. Which we'll put, I guess, right here. Sixteen by eight, right? Uh, we will probably want a bigger canteen, or maybe a smaller one, considering the fact that we're going to be. Why did I do it like that? Here. Let's see here. All right, just like that. Okily dokily. Uh, let's see here. Probably another infirmary. Hmm. Detect 
made this just a bit too long. Alright, that works out like that. Right, six. Oakley, Oakley. Got that. So we have a corridor there. Oh dear. People are kind of ang- oh, oh no. Someone died. That's not usually a good sign. I'm so sorry for- who died? Okay, oops. Uh, what do we know about you? You just- just didn't like each other? Okay. I guess I have to accept that for what it is. I don't have to like it, but I guess I have to accept it. Alright, so how are we gonna do this? Materials? Perimeter wall, maybe? Eh, why not? We're rich. We can afford it. So effectively, the idea is we'll put some perimeter walls here, and we'll put, like, gates here and metal detectors and stuff. And I think we'll have, like, the, the section between this marked as staff only. Let's see here. So, we'll want to put in a large jail door here and here. And there'll be some kind of metal detector and something like that. Okay. Materials. Also, perimeter wall this. This extra square, no one needs to be moving in. Speed up, please. All right. Anyway, let's uh, actually continue planning, shall we? Uh, let's see here. How big are these? Six by six, huh? So that means this, like this, and like that. Okay. Jolly good. That, that was terrible. Just terrible of me. Oh well, we're getting back into the architectural side of things, so this is good. Do max security guys deserve better prisons? I don't know. I guess we could say they do. Staff only, staff only. And it's still working out. Though someone needs to put a thing there. Alright, that is marked, so probably gonna have to set that up again. Oh. And we'll do a random shakedown. Why not? Actually, I really should save shakedowns for, like, right before bedtime, to be honest. That would probably make a lot more sense. Alright, good. So we've got this going here. Actually, if I lock this open, which would be a terrible idea. Um, I don't really know how that's insecure. How is that insecure? Oh, because no one's actually fenced that off yet. Okay, never mind. Normal and normal. Okay. I don't know why they can't just walk around. Oh, wait, it's because I haven't actually ordered perimeter walls to be built here. That would be why. Silly me. But really, at this point, nothing that I don't think we all expect it to happen. All right, there we go. And I'll probably put snipers in the corner, maybe. Possibly. Okay, that's... That's kind of scary, seeing a tunnel all the way down there at the edge of the map. But surely nothing's going to go wrong. Surely. Well, I can dream, I guess. Got these lovely family cells. Pretty good. We have some family people. Oh, look at the little baby there. What's your name? Your name is Stack, apparently. Alright, your name is Stack of Clothes. What a creative mother we have here. Anyway, uh, I guess for deployment, I might want to deploy a guard in this area so there's always someone monitoring this. And I suppose with that in mind, we should also go ahead and get some metal detectors down there. And let's put, I don't know, some kind of nice fancy metal floors here. But they are putting the metal floors, right? Oh, no, they can't, because those are indoor tiles. Of course they are. Gravel, paving stone, concrete floor, con I guess the standard concrete tile. I have to do. Really good. All right. So utilities, I think I will hook up from here. 
Not really using that much power down here, so might as well put it to good use. I think that's good. Do I want to have a connecting thing over here as well? I could. But then again, that feels kind of like a bad idea, given the fact that this is the family room area thing. So, yeah. Wait, can anyone even... Oh, yeah, they can get down there. Of course they can. People can get in here. They can get over here. All right. Good, good. The walls are established. Everyone is happy, especially me. And I guess basically we just want to keep planning these six by sixes. And the reason, of course, for giving dangerous uh, serial killers the best cells is to try to make them complacent. So that unlike real prison, where prisoners just get more and more jacked and so forth, uh, <laughs> we just uh, make sure that they become fat and lazy. The ultimate form of deterrent for crime. Instead of getting healthier, you'll come out of prison so fat you can barely even move under your own volition. It's diabolical and probably a war crime. But if it keeps the peace, why not? In all seriousness, though, uh, yeah, we want to make sure that our most dangerous prisoners are the happiest of prisoners. And, uh, yeah. Yes. Actually, again, it would be kind of nice if there was a way to, uh, like, make things, like, mark them as mixed cells. Would be kind of nice, I think. Then again, I don't think we're going to bother with Supermax. And you'd figure that would be a smart move, and it probably is, but eh. It also sounds like a lot of work, so I'm not going to do it. All right, let's see here. Six by six. Number six by six. Ah, dang it. Doesn't quite work. Wait, that's because I screwed this up. She actually conveniently leaves a 2x2 two two cell. I knew there was a reason I had built these the way I did. Probably. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. With this design, how does anyone access the middle cell? I'm an idiot. Ugh. Well, I guess I don't need to destroy the whole thing. Sometimes I amaze myself with my own stupidity. I really do. All right. I wonder how many of you were probably like, Wait, Gaslight, no! You idiot! You're gonna kill them all by blocking someone inside, much like uh, Fortunato in a cask of... Uh... What was that? Actually, you know, it just occurred to me, I also screwed up here. Because these can be like this. Wait, was it Fortunato who got walled up? Or was that some other guy? Also, that's a spoiler for a... Oh, dear God. A fire! Fire started in the kitchen! Well, thank goodness that we have this stuff there, so... There, it ended up being no problem at all. Though apparently it completely shot out the power. Gosh darn it. You people make me sick. Though, I guess that's also a good reason why we should have multiple redundancies, just in case these things happen in the future, especially because we don't want the fridge... Like, in real life, we would not want the fridge to lose power. That would be awful. Anyway, moving on with our... St oh yeah, like I was saying, that was a spoiler for an Edgar Allan... That was an Edgar Allan Poe poem, wasn't it? Or a short story? Hopefully I'm getting that right. It'd be very embarrassing otherwise. Very embarrassing indeed. Alright, there we are. That's too wide. This is much better. Oakley dokley Okay, okay, oop. Oh. Well, that doesn't... Well, actually, that worked out perfectly, didn't it? Very good, then. All right. Excellent, excellent. Okay. So we've got our system kind of like this. And it works out more or less perfectly, I think. And let's see here. Actually, you know the way I'm going to do it? I'm not going to fully segregate the prisoners, now that I think about it. What I shall instead do, which actually means I can probably make this not staff only. I'll make it max security only or something. Let's, let's uh, 
change that now. Max, max, okay. So this is where max security people can go to do stuff. Not much right now, mind you, but stuff will happen at some point in the future, probably. And it will be good stuff, possibly. All right, Oop, too wide. Anyway, lots of cells is where we're getting with this because we want to squeeze in. Actually, I suppose if I want it to be a real scumbag, I could just make all these max security dormitories. Just how many people could we uh, just squish on in here? We'd get all the money and our prison would be the richest prison of all and our wardens could wear top hats and stuff. It also occurs to me, before I get too far ahead of myself here, I should be paying attention to the needs of the prisoners. Okay, hygiene is still a thing. Which tells me I should consider making this corner of the yard... Actually, it occurs to me, we're probably going to need another yard, because this is getting kind of crowded, I would suspect. But anyway, yeah, I should get some kind of uh, shower system going in here. And in addition to a shower system, maybe some toilets, so that during yard time, the inmates can take care of such needs. Uh, what is our regime again? Let's see here. Yeah, we at, we keep people sitting out here for four hours in the yard, so after a four-hour work period, so eh, it's all good. And the one-hour lockup is to ideally force people to use the shower, hopefully. Of course, this is a dormitory, and with one shower per dormitory, that does mean that not every... Oh! Oh! We could actually uh, get someone uh, on death row. We could uh, pull the lever on them. Do we want to do that? We can do it. They to prove conviction strength is 10%. We can make this happen. You know what? Why not? We haven't had an execution in a while. Okay. Uh, Prison-wide lockdown. Authorize, please. Okay, that's authorized. Test facility, authorize that. Really good. And it's pretty much night time, or bedtime anyway, so I'm sure it's all going to work out. Probably. Ah. Um, there's apparently 2% of the prison that is not locked down. Could someone, uh, someone lock that down, please? I wonder why it... Well, no, I guess I understand the lockdown thing. That's so that there's no shenanigans happening because everyone's going to be focused on executing this person. All right. And uh, escort the witnesses, assemble the execution detail. Oh, it's all hap... Oh. Might as well watch this. Pretty dramatic. You're bringing kids to the execution? What kind of monster are you? What kind of kid wants to watch someone get zapped? Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a... Hang on. Wait. There's a Bible page here. It's about foundations. I'm mildly disappointed in myself that I have barely unlocked any of the actual uh, Bible pages in this game. Ooh, ooh, we're probably going to get a Polaroid or something, though, and possibly a Bible page when we do this. Huzzah! All right, we've got our minister person. We've got our... Uh, wait, is that, a, is that a rabbi? I'm assuming so because of the hat. Might be a bit, a uh, bit presumptuous of me. Um, are you kidding me? The chief of security does not have access to a set of keys. Oh, for the love of all that is good and holy, people! Come on! <laughs> Can I take care of this myself? Here, open the door. All right, someone took care of it. Guard, you better come back here. Yeah. All right. Okay. Moment of truth. Giving the uh, final rights and stuff. This The chief's probably ex making sure she understands what's happening. Uh, the warden keeps smacking your head under the bookshelf for some reason. We've got the witnesses and the children who are all, for some reason... Why would you bring children to watch this? Oh. Or prisoner to the facility. Lock open to... Just get things going here. We'll lock the rabbi in. No, that wouldn't be very nice. It would not be nice to lock the rabbi in. He probably wants to watch this as well. Everyone wants to watch the execution. I'll be honest, I'm still... Like, why are you bringing... Ch why is this child not attended by having someone sitting directly next to them? Who are these people? Let's see, Finley's victim's family. Is any of these... Oh, Finley's ex-husband. 
Uh, victim's family, Finley's mother, who's not sitting next to the ex-husband for some reason, and then we have the victim's family sit- Why are the victim's family not sitting next- Oh, music's getting pretty intense. Pull the lever! Oh my. That was rather anticlimactic, wasn't it? Very quiet. Rest in peace, Finley. Alright, now we shall dismiss everyone. Alright, everyone, show's over. Time to go. That's right. All right. Yep. Why are you leaving the child? <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder about this prison. Well, goodbye, everyone. All right. The mandated execution of Audrey Finley was carried out at 21 1300 hours as scheduled by electric chair in the presence of witnesses. The standard compensation of $10,000 is awarded to the institution for their part in the process. Yay, we got $10,000 for killing someone. That's, uh... Good, I guess. I don't know how to feel about that. Oh, for the love of... Someone wire this in. Are you kidding me? I can't run wire through here? No! That's the most ridiculous thing ever. Alright, this is gonna look terrible. But replace it with a fence. There we go. Oh yeah, I've got to run hot water and everything. Ah, uh, the life of a prison warden. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode. So for now, thank you all for watching. Finley still technically exists, apparently. Yeah, you know what? Let's um, let's keep this as is for now. Because let's see if we get a report or something. And Finley is still on the books for some reason, despite being dead. Finley, are you in the morgue? He's over here. Or were you immediately taken out? I have to assume you were immediately taken out. Oh wait, here's where I can put a forestry. Completely unrelated to what we're doing right now, but... Forestry. Wait, I have a forestry? Where the heck do I have a forestry? I must have like a... Oh. A couple squares of forestry over here for some reason. Alright, there. We'll plant forestry over there. Beautiful. Excellent. People are getting... 21 prisoners have serious complaints. What seems to be the problem? Family needs warmth. You're cold? You kidding me? You feel like you don't have enough freedom? Some people. Actually, that's a that's an interesting question to ask. Uh, 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 logistics temperature. Oh, geez, it actually is really cold. Um, I suppose a good prison warden would do something about that, so I guess I should put a couple of radiators in here. I put a radiator here and here. Will that be good enough for everyone? Let's uh, take one last look. Yeah, that should be mostly okay. I thought radiators could sort of radiate through walls a little bit. Apparently not enough. Hmm. They're gonna have to put radiators in all these rooms? The answer is maybe. Wow, negative one degree Celsius. Dang. Anyway, yes, before we get carried away too much longer, as always, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next episode.